On daily basis, more corpses and mass graves are discovered from different locations, while many others are still missing. Keeping to its responsibility, the federal government has made continued effort to bring the situation under control and fish out the perpetrators to be punished. You met bodies burning and you just walked away. Then you tell me you have nothing to hide? Yes. Not that I don't yes. work at What did you do? Something that I don't know. I said. Oh, you don't know? But this is you are in charge of this place. I'm in charge of this place. I and then you say you say you don't know. I was not in. You were not in and you came back, you saw people burning bodies and you did not do anything. You did not call anybody. You did not ask your people to tell them to stop. You did not ask your people to bury the dead. You came inside your house and you're sleeping and you're feeling very good with yourself at your age. But what? I'm going all on down and this. Now carry yourself, go to the MS, but I want to meet you. Guess this particular guess this is I want to know who it is. This is the bone of contention. A high powered federal government delegation under the Minister of Interior visited the area on a fact finding mission and sued for peace. The entire world was shocked by the comment of Taraba State Governor Darius Dixon Ishiaku during the minister's visit. The governor is not happy with the deployment of soldiers to stop the carnage. He lambasted the federal government, accusing it of protecting the Fulanese. While the federal government troops tried to provide security in the area, the killers enjoy full support of the governor of Taraba State and the speaker of the state assembly protecting them from any arrest. Even those who were initially arrested have all been released unconditionally on the directive of the state government. In a clear deceptive manner, Mr. John Yeb, who was indicted by security operatives, was suspended by the government to deceive the then acting president into believing their stories. However, the local government chairman was suspended on different charges completely exonerating him from the genocide. The government was not happy with the village head of Unguruje, Alhajisani Galadima, for working very hard to stop the carnage in his domain. He was honored by the Nigerian army as an ambassador of peace, only to be suspended by Governor Darius Isiaku the following week. Today he remains suspended while village heads and politicians who led the carnage in their area are celebrated by the government. Only time shall tell whether justice will finally come to the defenseless victims.